Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Vanity. Today we are going to talk about another very interesting concept that, that is community interactions. I believe you all know what community interactions are. It's quite easy, it's very simple. So we'll talk about community interactions. Community interactions for you. And community interactions, uh, we have a mnemonic for you. And that mnemonic is gibberish, muko, pako, and... Uh, pam okay muko pako pam this should be a mnemonic muko pako pam now what i mean by this muko pako pam this particular mnemonic let me write it here for you and what we have we have mu to start with mu then we have co then we have pa then we have another co uh, then we have simple p then we have am okay and uh, in a community interactions we know there are two individuals coming out from two different species and at the species level what kind of interactions that they are having and i'll explain that because amy if i like it uh, write it here this is mutualism amy is for mutualism then co is competition then pa is parasitism then co is uh, commensalism P is predation, AM is amensalism, okay, these are all different type of interactions and when I say it is different type of interactions, it has a different frame, okay, we have uh, both A and B, two different species, okay, and how they interact? with each other what are their interactions and whether one will get the benefit the other one will be harmed or both will get the benefit the interactions will be represented here for all these examples this is something that you need to remember muko pakopam is the way you can remember and frame all the six different interactions the six major interactions are listed now whether they are getting benefit or harm that is something that i'll write here so for mutualism, it's mutual interactions between the two. So both will get a benefit. So for a benefit, I'll put plus. For harm, I'll put minus. Next one is competition. In competition, what happens? One gets the benefit, the other one is harmed. Or this one will get the benefit, this one will harm. So basically, there is a chance in, in competition that both will be harmed. So remember that always in a competition, obviously one will win over the other in long run. But the chance that they will be harmed are equal. So we put two negative here, no plus nothing, both will be negative here. Then what we have, we have parasitism, one gets the benefit, the other one is harmed. The one that gets the benefit, that is the parasite. Remember, this is the parasite that gets the benefit from the host. Okay. Next one is commensalism, one uh, gets the benefit, the other one is unharmed. Different from parasitism. In parasitism, one gets the benefit, the other one is harmed. But in commensalism, one gets the benefit, the other one is unharmed. Then we have predation. In predation, one gets the benefit, the other one is harmed. Because definitely the one gets the benefit is the predator. Predator gets the benefit and the prey is harmed, prey will be killed. So there is a similarity between parasites and predators. In parasitism also one gets benefit, one is harmed. In predation also one gets benefit, one harmed. But the difference is that in predation, the predator will always win over the prey because the predator will hunt the prey and eat it. While in case of parasitism, the parasite wins over the host, but the parasite will always keep the host alive. Because if the host is dead, then whom the parasite will be fed on, right? So parasite always try to keep the host alive. But in predation, predator will never keep its host alive. Predator will always kill its prey. Next is amensalism. Amensalism is different from commensalism is a way. In, the, in amensalism, one is unharmed, the other one is harmed. That is one big difference. Okay. So in commensalism, one is unharmed, the other one is getting the benefit. In amensalism, one is unharmed, but the other one is harmed. Okay. These are the interactions. This is something that you need to remember with examples. I have separate videos talking about them with examples. But this time it's going to give you a clear idea about the community interactions that are out there. 
mukopako pam is the mnemonic to remember a gibberish uh, sentence i mean uh, letter I'll to remember and you can put this table in front of you so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye